Hey, what's happening, guys? Um, yeah, it's another multimeter review. Why? Because I like multimeters, and I'm still not feeling fantastic until <clears throat> I have my surgery next Friday the 26th, so I really haven't had a chance to prepare anything this week. I'll try and work on something over the weekend, so... You know, we have an electronics project to look at. But in the meantime, we're going to look at this LOM, LOMVM T28B multimeter, which LOMVM sent to me free of charge for our consideration. It's available on Amazon for $26.99. It is a, uh, it's a, what I would call a, a full-size meter. Let me grab a scale here. We're looking at seven inches by about three and a quarter by a little over two inches thick. So that's, that's what I call a full size meter. The included probes are your standard cheap Chinese probes CE, Cat 3 thousand volt max you know take that with a grain of salt that's about all I can say about that and I've been asked how come I stopped reviewing the multimeters with the probe master probes well the reason is I got so much crap from people about doing it I got tired of hearing it so I'll just review the multimeters with the probes they came with okay now that we got all that out of the way let's start with some resistance readings I'll tell you what I'll flip this up like show. I'll bring this in here for a nice view. I'll turn the light on. All right. Let's start high with uh, one meg. Okay, that's reading two megs. Okay. Let's go to ten k. Okay, that's on. 1K. Excuse me. Reading 1K, 2.2 ohms. 2.3 is close enough. Let's do one meg again. It is reading two megs. Okay, perhaps I've lost my mind. Let's bring in another meter and uh, we'll double check it. We'll, uh, we'll bring in the Anang meter I just reviewed last week. This is the Anang 870. Proved to be a you know decently accurate meter. Come on, light. Okay. We'll get a reading here. Yeah, that's reading one meg. That's what I thought. Once again, reading two megs. <clears throat> Let's see if we switch the range. Okay, now on manual range, a mega ohm, we're getting 0.99 mega ohms, which is, you know, right on. But in auto ranging, it's off. I am in a bad mood today, and I'm tempted to just stop the review right here and say, it's crap. But I'll finish the review. All right, let's do voltage testing. Got my voltage standard here. And we'll start at 10 volts. All right, close enough. 7.5. Go. Oh. 
7.49. Okay. This is, by the way, a 6,000 count meter. Five volts reading 5.007. Good. Oh my, I can't make my fingers work. I still don't have it on right. Holy cow. Alright, two and a half volts. 2.502. <laughs> Close enough. Alright, let's look at some diodes. Alright, diode mode. This is a shot key diode, should give us a reading about you know 0.2 to 0.3. Okay. This is a high speed diode, it should read like a silicone diode, somewhere around 0.5 to 0.7. Uh-huh. Here's a standard silicone diode, again, should read between 0.5 and 0.7. Good. Alright, now we're gonna test some LEDs. We should get a reading of the forward voltage on here. And depending on the output voltage it is testing these with, um, it may or may not light the LEDs. So there's red at 1.8 and it's lit. Yellow at 1.85 and lit. Green, 2.32 and lit. Uh, blue at 2.5 and lit. This is an ultraviolet purple. 2.6 and lit. All very good. So it's probably outputting around 3 volts for its test. Alright, let's take a look at some capacitors. I always forget which ones I have on here. This is a 1200. This one is a 100 and a 10. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to discharge all these big electrolytics and let's start small we'll start with the 10 microfarad 11 okay there's a hundred ninety eight point five five all right twelve hundred Hey, not bad. Give me some, some some decent readings there. Want to really push it? Here's fifteen thousand microfarads. Think it'll read it? Place your bets now. It's charging it. Da, 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 da. Sixteen seventy-five millifarads. Hey, close enough, right? Put some cables over and we'll read our milliamps. We should be at zero milliamps right now. Oh, Paul, you're a dumb butt. You can put it in the right spot. Okay. It's reading a few microamps, no big deal. Alright, let's increase this. There is 82 milliamps. Showing me 80. I'm sorry, that's 0.82 milliamps. There's 1.9 milliamps. 3.8 milliamps. 5.56 milliamps. 7.4 milliamps. 8.93 milliamps. 11.91 milliamps. So yeah, it reads milliamps just fine. There's no worries there whatsoever. What we've done is let's go back and do this one more time. This really bothers me. How can it be right on all the other ranges 
Don't fall. Switch the cables. How can it be right on all the other ranges? And so off on this one. Look. 1.6 milliamps. And if we go all the way down to the lowest range once again, 2.2. .2. Let's let's uh let's swap out some cables. I picked up uh, a set of gold plated cables, and the reason I did that is I got a lot of comments from folks in Europe that they can't get the Probe Masters for a decent price. You know, here in the United States, Probe Masters are you know twenty dollars shipped. And these guys are telling me it's costing them a fortune in Europe to get them. So did a little. You know, messing around, looking around, and I found some nice gold-plated ones on Amazon. So let's let's give them a try, just to try and rule that out. You know, it could be a bad set of probes. All right, let's try one mig now. Now. It ain't the probes. Beautiful. Let's try a continuity check on these, huh? Beautiful. You want to know why I like gold plated probes? Remember the sound that continuity check made. Now I'm going to switch back to the other probes. Tell me if we get the same sound. Not even close. All right, well, I'm not going to do the non-contact voltage test or the uh, temperature reading test. <clears throat> we all know how that stuff works. Let's uh, have a look see what's inside over here. <clears throat> pardon me. And pardon me for having the uh, the air conditioner on. It is, it's really hot. I know it annoys some of you guys. By the way, this meter works off of four AAA batteries, which is somewhat unique. I, in my experience. I've generally found meters that work on a 9 volt battery, two double A's or two triple A's. Four batteries is unique. Sorry. The case is nice and heavy and the uh, orange condom is very thick. So those are all, <coughs> those are all pluses. Okay, the screws are not captive so I prefer captive screws. Doesn't I mean it's no big deal. It doesn't affect the operation of the meter at all. Wow. Okay. So <clears throat> where should we start? Let's zoom on in. Make sure we're nice and focused. All right. So down here we have our inputs and this is a 600 milliamp 250 volt fuse a 20 amp 250 volt fuse you can see these are marked milliamps in 20 amp in common in voltage in it would appear I'm looking at the trace here It would appear that they're reading the voltage coming off of the, uh, the ground side of the circuit, the low side, not the high side. But, yeah, that's neither here nor there. We of course have a uh, it's called glob top chip, you know, chip under some epoxy there. Bunch of MELF resistors. Got a couple of LEDs that. Okay, so those are for the uh, non-contact voltage. Why are they on this side of the board? 
there's the uh, the antenna for the NCV. Can I get that out? Oh, it's anyway, it's just one of these screw terminals is all that it is. There's not a single PTC or MOV on this board. Yeah. That's pretty sad. Alright, I'm going to put it back together. This is probably the cheap, cheap, cheapest built multimeter I've ever dealt with here on the channel. I certainly can't recommend it. I'll post a link down below if you want to check out the website. For the price range, you know, $26, there's plenty of better meters out there. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks to all the patrons for supporting the channel. Thanks to Lombum for sending this to me. Sorry I couldn't give you a great review, but uh, you didn't give me a great project, a product to work with. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace.